Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am extremely overjoyed to share with you an important announcement that finally the 8th edition of strategic financial management textbooks have been released. Now this set of textbook is coming up with a promise of exhaustive coverage and this will be needed for all the students who will be writing their exams from November 2022 and onwards. The description about the books and their combinations have been given in the description box below this video. And of course, new textbooks will have to be accompanied by new recordings. Today, that is 14th of April 2022, we will begin with the new recordings based on this 8th edition of textbook and this uh, set of recordings will be completed by July 2022 and you do not have to wait to take up this course until then. You can start up with this course as soon as possible and as and when the lectures are recorded on a regular basis they will be uploaded on the Google Drive and you will be finding a systematic coverage of concepts, learning and revision. And when it comes to revision, let me come up with this uh, exclusiveness about this revisionary book revamp. The eighth edition of revamp is also coming up with a promise of very, very impactful revision on the last day before exams. So here I present the eighth edition of revamp a smart solution for your success. This is for CA final SFM. So what you can see is your key to success is in your own hand. Now when you look into the inside of the book, what you find is the objective of this book is to enable the students to have quick revision at the last day before exam. This is not a detailed book, but a revisionary material which students should carefully go through. So this is what revamp is all about. It is meant for the last day revision. And now in order to understand what you will find inside the book as in the inner content of the book, I have taken one of the topics that is risk return and portfolio theory for your understanding with respect to what you will find in this book. So if this chapter is classified into two segments, part one, dealing with single security is having its learning objectives. So all the contents of the chapter which will belong to part one have been listed in these learning objectives. And when you begin with the learning part of this chapter, each part has been numbered as concepts. So concept number one with its title and all the formulas have been laid down over here with the definitions of each variable used in the formula with respect to each concept, which questions you need to solve for understanding these concepts have been mentioned over here. So you can see any specific note has been given with a separate colored box, which can highlight at the time of revision. Now uh, you can see with each concept, the reference to the questions have been given. You keep on finding the formulas given in specific colors, the text given in specific colors and the special notes and important notes have been again mentioned in specific colors. Now the main attraction of this book, let me take you to the later part of each topic. At end of each topic, what you will find is this checklist. So a checklist has been given. Why this checklist is needed? At the last day, we would want to know whether we have understood and have we taken the entire chapter in our control. So as and when you cover up each concept through this checklist, you can keep putting tick marks to identify whether you have done that or not. So how do we identify? We will say that determine the expected rate of return with respect to individual stocks for shareholders. You need to refer question one and two. So this checklist is going to check, have you learned how to do this? So as and when you progress with this checklist, you can keep putting tick marks with each checkbox over here. And you will find one more thing that the reference has been given to each concept number and question number with each of these. So you keep progressing through this checklist. It will keep asking you, have you understood the concept of beta and practiced questions on determining beta? 
have you understood the concept of equilibrium pricing with respect to CAPM and which is the relevant concept number and the question numbers for reference has been given over here. When you keep progressing with this checklist and by the time you come to the end of this checklist, I can assure you one thing that once you finish this checklist, you have actually covered the entire chapter. This same feature you will be finding throughout the book with each chapter at the back of that chapter, the detailed checklist has been given. Now let me make one more promise to you that throughout this journey, I will be there with you and you just have to make a smart choice, make it now.